Edinburgh's Southbridge vaults are notorious for paranormal activity, but why they were filled with rubble and forgotten about is shrouded in mystery. We get a lot of people coming here from tour guides, the tourists, film crews, who experience pretty crazy phenomena in here. And all actually goes on inside this thing, inside the stone circle. I didn't feel anything at first, but um, at one point I did feel a sharp pain in my wrist, not on my pulse, but on the other side of my wrist. I couldn't really figure out why. Now in pagan and Wicca religion, circles are protective symbols. They will either repel negativity, keeping you safe if you're on the inside, or they'll do the opposite. They will attract negativity to the inside, keeping you safe if you are on the outside. The stone circle may seem mysterious, but can this paranormal activity be explained? To find out, our journey starts at the initiation of a bridge. The Lord Provost of the time, James Hunter Blair, signed an act giving the go-ahead to build South Bridge using the grand design of skilled architect Robert Adam. The foundation stone was laid and Edinburgh's South Bridge became a modern highway of its day, linking the old town with the university buildings on the south side of the city. Edinburgh was a fearful and superstitious place at the turn of the 18th century. Citizens' fear of what could be inflicted by the unearthly and supernatural was exacerbated by years of war from invading enemies. When the fear mongers become the afraid, laugh that for this moment at least, all evil, all the worst possible luck has landed with another. On Southbridge's completion in 1788, it seemed only fitting that the oldest resident would be the first to cross the bridge. However, just days before the grand opening, the well-respected judge's wife passed away. She was in her coffin, being pulled by four horses, making way across the bridge. The locals were aghast. The bridge is cursed, they cried, and the public refused to cross for years, instead walking down through the deep valley known as the Cowgate. 18th century Edinburghers may have seemed overly superstitious by today's standards, but as the centuries to follow would prove, maybe they were onto something. Beneath the bridge, vaults were used by businesses for storage. A lot of the merchants and shopkeepers at the time commissioned for these rooms, these individual vaults, to be built to store goods, stock, whether it was cloth, food, tobacco, all these kind of things. Most businesses failed after a short while, leaving the vaults empty. The extremely poor and outcasts of society made these spaces their homes, but due to a lack of light, air and heat, the quality of life deteriorated rapidly. It wasn't until 1985 that these long-lost spaces came to public attention, after an excavation revealed the labyrinth network of rooms and discovered that very poor families lived down here with the most disreputable sections of society. During 1825, the Great Fire started at the Tronkirk directly above South Bridge and turned the entire vault below into a giant oven. For three days the fire raged, and it took authorities another three days to clear through the piles of debris and rubble. When the entrance was finally cleared, bodies of families were found with lacerations on their throats. Because of this, because people were superstitious, because people were scared, they filled these rooms with the rubble. The debris from the surface, and that's when they close them. 